January 2. Maker of Mighty Things God thundereth marvelously with his voice. Great things doeth he which we cannot comprehend. Job chapter 37 verse 5 King James Version Fear is a normal part of life for all of us, especially for young children. It tends to start when we try something new, something that we've never experienced before, something that is unknown. During childhood, we develop fear of certain things like darkness, strangers, monster, being alone, and separation. When I was a kid, I was fearful of the very sound of thunder. One time, Dad was away from our station and my mom and I spent the night alone. At midnight, I was startled to hear waves of booming, crashing, and ground-shaking thunder rumbling overhead. It walks and went like the surf on a beach. It was a very deafening and frightening experience. With every cracking boom, the lightning crook smile became a little wider. The thunder seemed to slice the air as if the very heavens might split apart. I held my mother tightly, as close as possible, and started to sob bitterly. I can never forget the prayer she uttered that lonely night. She whispered, Lord, we are cold and frightened, and the night is encroaching quickly adding to the gloom. Please stop this oppressive, booming thunder. Please help us. Amen. The moment she said, Amen, the thunder stopped. We slept peacefully that night. That day, I realized that nature is at God's command. Nature is predictable and structured. Trees shed their leaves in autumn. Birds migrate at prescribed times of the year. All of creation functions according to a plan set by God. I was happy that night that I worship a God who stilled the storms of the sea. I am humbled by the thought that if God has a good plan for every plant, bird, and animal, how much more does He have good plans for those who are made in His image? It is enough to know our mighty God has a plan, and He never abandons His children. His eye is on the sparrow, and I am assured of the fact that He watches. Dear Father, You are filled with meekness and majesty in perfect harmony, and You are the Lord's eternity. We kneel in humility before Thee. Help us to understand that you are the Alpha and Omega of our life. By Esther Cynthia Morali.